Welcome to Basic Bipedric series. I am your instructor Rohan Page. In this video, we will see how we can create arm joints for our bipedric setup. What will be our workflow? We will create arm joint setup. Then we will create finger joints. Then we will connect arm joints with spine. Let's start with the session. In last lecture, we have seen how we can create upper body joints that is for spine and we have uh, connected lower and upper body joints to one joint called as uh, center of gravity, COG bone. Now it is time for us to create uh, joints for hands. So let us start with it. So first of all, choose your skeleton joint tool go to front view press 4 starting with shoulder 1 2 3 and 4 so 4 joint I have created press enter on your keyboard now it is time to fix the proper placement for these joints Hold D whenever you want to move joint separately. Hold D on your keyboard. Go to side view for the proper placement. Just move it. Go to top view. I want to place it properly. So I'll just select the sh uh, this shoulder joint and go to attribute editor. There we have an option of joint orientation where we can use the orientation proper. Uh, for having a rotation so I am moving in Y block of orientation hold control on your keyboard with the help of middle mouse just rotate it little bit select this no, uh, you can say the elbow joint and move it okay so have a little bit of bend between this shoulder and wrist over here knee has a bend over here uh, sorry elbow has a bo uh, bend it will bend over here so go to front view again check it out with your placement hold d on your keyboard you can place it properly Okay, it's time to rename these joints selected. We have created four joints right now. Select those joints and start renaming it. Turn on caps lock L that is for left underscore shoulder 01. L underscore elbow 01. L underscore wrist zero one L underscore palm zero one. So these are the four joints for the hands till now we have created shoulder, elbow, wrist, and palm joint. Now it is time to create joints for the finger. Each finger will have four joints. So go to front view or else you can go to top view with the help of joint tool create joint 1 2 3 4 it's in top view we need to place it properly turn off caps lock if it is turned on so move this uh, hierarchy of the joint in upward direction we need to place it properly according to the placement or uh, the orientation of fingers you can reduce the size of the joint animation joint size
use joint orientation to place it properly. Move this last joint at the tip of finger. We can change the rotation of these uh, overall orientation uh, orient axis of this joint later on but right now we'll just place it to change to just have a duplicate press ctrl d on your keyboard move it to next finger and place those joints accordingly
okay so now we have created uh, joints for these four fingers it's time to create joints for the thumb so as you know the orientation and overall uh, placement of the thumb is different than these fingers you go back to joint tool top view i'll go to place it properly use joint orient option from if it's not working properly overall orientation then you can simply use you can simply move these joints Now after creating these joints, we must rename them. So as soon as you are done with the placement of the joints, you can select one by one. Starting with the first finger, rename it as L underscore index underscore A underscore zero one. index b 0 1 okay so index a b c d that is the name of first four joints of the finger and then start with the next finger that is L underscore middle A01. Middle B01. Middle C and D. Then comes the ring finger. R I N G ring A. Ring B. Ring C. D. Then comes the last one that is pinky finger. So L underscore pinky C and D. Now select thumb joint, rename it as L underscore thumb A01, B01, C01, D01. Now we need to connect all these joints to palm. So select first joint of each finger and then select your palm finger, press P so that all those joints will get connected with the hand joint. 
Now to connect this shoulder with spine, we cannot just connect it directly. We need to have one more joint called as collarbone. So I'll just create a collarbone over here. Go to side view and place it properly. Select the joint, rename it as L underscore collar underscore zero one. Select shoulder, then collar bone, press P. Select this collar bone, then select your upper spine and press P. I want to have the same joint chain of the hand at the other side. So you can just move this collar a little bit over here. Okay. Select the collar joint so that your whole hand hierarchy will get selected. Now go to skeleton mirror joint tool and rename it, uh, sorry, mirror it in YZ axis with search for L underscore prefix and replace it with R underscore prefix mirror. So as you can see, we have created joints for hands also for our selected character. So in the next chapter, we will see how we can finish up with the skeleton of this biped and let us see what we have learned in this video. What we learned in this video, we have seen there are five joints for arm that is collarbone, shoulder, elbow, wrist and palm. There are four joints for each finger. We have renamed finger joints as index, middle, ring, pinky and thumb. For any query, you can follow me on Facebook. You can write me an email on rohan.pageanimator at gmail.com. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel or else you can follow my classroom with the code. Thank you.